didn't expect to see me. And wild ride. Yeah. That is that says 840. Yes, it does. I've been doing this for I think this is my eighth year here. It's crazy. So this is uh, the event to be at, to be honest with you. This is their 10th anniversary. Uh, the guy who puts this event on seems Justin. He's awesome. He's got a great group of volunteers. Here today with Josh from American Iron Off-Road with a super cool product. So I know you've seen on our Instagram and stuff like that where we did ball joint eliminators on Alicia's Dana 44. So I kind of wanted to go over today and go over with what that system actually is, what it's mainly used for, and what the, ben the benefits for it, and what else American Iron Off-Road offers. First thing I want to have you guys take a look at, um, we got a cutaway model here. Mm -hmm. So literally we have cutaway model with the cup, spherical, and you can see the seal and the shim. So, when you have this set up in the knuckle, this gets pressed into the hole with the spherical inside the cup, and there's a C-clip there. Couldn't get it in there with the cutaway. And then your Viton seal with your shim. And then your zinc-coated hardware actually has a taper that matches that C. Um, so after it's inserted down there, the C comes up to there, and that pulls it down when you tighten you can kind of see that right here so literally that's what you're looking at in a cutaway essentially oh yeah so your tapers here yep and then your tapers are already in the knuckle so this is kind of different rather than like a 60 where the cup would be inside the inside it's more so the knuckle right true so looking at that it's kind of backwards which is nice though so what what makes these better than ball joints? So a ball, a ball joint delete um, is retained on top and bottom. So oh, yeah. a regular ball joint literally has a round end on a shank and you can't control any clamping force with that. It's only mm -hmm. pulling from one end. Um, we can control firmness of steering by just the torque specs and the bearing tolerances, the F2 fit bearings, um, which I'm super picky about. Um, you want that return to center. You want it to be reactive. Um, you want you want it to drive the way it should. What do you think about things being like shock loading and all that? Since things are more rigid, so you 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 feel that you will feel that through the wheel. Um, mm -hmm. It's more of a direct link to the knuckle. Like the driver will actually be able to feel that. It, it's more it's more reactive, almost like an IFS car. You actually turn that wheel the Jeep will react like you want it to. Um, the driver should be the one in control. Um, a ball joint typically will mask um, accessory movement like that. And mm -hmm. that's why you kind of get that wandering feeling like you're yep. within your lane, but not like you're not picking that line in the lane the way you should be able to. So your Jeep doesn't drive like a Jeep anymore. Yeah. It drives more like a car. Like a, yeah, it's unlike a shopping cart. You yes. don't want shopping cart wheels. That wheel, yeah. that's the one I always do. Yeah. Croft. What's How up, you sir? Doing, buddy? How you doing, bud? Good. What are you selling here? What are you peddling, sir? People that don't know what you're peddling, what are you peddling today? Well, we got our aluminum steering kits out here this year. We've got our control arm kits. And we're showing off our new LJ long arm suspension here. Wait, you make suspension? We do. We Get out of here. So. Get out of here. What all do you make suspension for? Uh, double triangulated JK kits. We've got the new JL kits launching in about four weeks. Full double, double, tri triangulation? double triangulation. Ooh. Get ready to move that tank. We got it coming. So, and then uh, our LJ kit here is just uh, outstanding, man. Double triangulation, three link front long arm. Uh, it's it's going to get a test out at Windrock. So for all you kids that like to beat on your crap, he's running coilovers, big beefy aluminum links. I think that's a Johnny joint down there. All rock 
rock jock narrow joints. Rock jock yeah. narrow joints. Got all the aluminum steering under here. Sorry to beat on this thing. 42 inch BFG Reds, best tire on the planet. To be honest with you guys. <laughs> this thing's nasty. All the aluminum, you guys. Look at that. This one's got the new DS Track 70 inch axle as well. Yep. This is actually, yes. This is the new goodness. So this is the DS Track axles. Boob. So I think you guys will be seeing a little more from DS Track here soon. I think you're going to see a lot more from DS Track very soon. Look at that joint. So 40 spline. I uh, actually had a conversation with Wilson and we were talking about joints and I was like, hey, you know, if I want to run other axle shafts or whatever, he was like, dude, you don't need to. And he's like, I'm going to send you a joint and you can put it in your hand next to another joint and you tell me if it's going to break or not. It was, it's impressive. He's done a great job. Wilson has uh, has engineered a killer kit here. So awesome, Mr. Don. Well, awesome stuff, man. man. harass you he's mean stay away from him he's violent if he's provoked and he peddles aluminum products and when I say he peddles aluminum products he peddles aluminum products aluminium straight aluminium stuff aluminium aluminium what are you doing I'm sweating who are you where are you from I'm Justin with Factor 55. We're from Boise, Idaho. Oh, so we make uh, off-road recovery products, uh, all USA made. Uh, Warren Industries bought our company uh, just two years ago. So now we're part of the Warren family of brands. So we manufacture all of our parts right in Boise, Idaho, where we're from. And uh, you know, here's here's test samples of the destructive testing that we actually do. Okay, our I actually know they do testing. I'm just full of shit here, but I want you guys to see this because I know what's going on here. So like these are these are just samples of parts that we've actually put into the destructive test bed and actually broken our parts so we can prove the test data and share that with you to say like, we don't just say that it's rated. We don't just say that it's tested. We actually provide the transparency and the data empirical evidence of the parts being tested. Yeah, this stuff's sexy, you guys. Look at this. Made in the USA. Look at that fair lead, dude. Look at that. I just want to touch it. Oh, it feels so good. So, br so oh. beautiful. So, so beautiful. This is my favorite product right here. It's called an Ultra Hooky Hook. That's so right. So it does all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so it's got integrated finger grips in the bottom, right? So that way it promotes hooking up from underneath. So we always like to say you, That's should, brilliant. Hook up, you should hook up with Factor 55. <laughs> You've got the. Uh, You're not hooking up with Justin. Yeah, He's married. Married, right. Uh, you've got the uh, integrated shackle mount right here, so you can still provide a closed system shackle mount. You've got the uh, billet aluminum latch, so it's actually replaceable. So if you damage the latch, you can easily replace this. It's got a ball detent pin that's stored into the body, so you can actually pull this out and lock the latch into place so you can contain the load there. And it's the only hook in the world that's got integrated rubber pads, so it's, it's nice against the fair lead, so there's no metal to metal connection, and it's protecting the fair lead surface until you're ready to use it. Unless now you, can you also, want this little guy. Yeah, and then you can also upgrade any one of our foldable shackle mounts with our rope guard, which acts as a skid plate in order to protect the front end of the part as you're nosing into an obstacle or kind of doing something. You're that assuming way. that my Jeep would nose into an obstacle. Well, I'm just saying, it happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's this little donut looking thing here? This thing's so silly looking right here. That's our rope retention pulley. So this thing is actually, you know, this replaces your traditional snatch block. So there are many different types of these friction rings on the market, but none of them have a patented feature that we designed, which actually allows the, the rope to not only spin through here or through the pulley, but when the rope goes to slack, the rope oh, can't fall escape. out of the pulley. It can't fall out through there. So then one of the neat things we designed this out of, so these are all of our parts are billet machine in Idaho. And with this, this ring has actually got a larger inner radius. So as it spins around through here, it doesn't drag the legs of the soft shackle on the sides of the pulley. So that way it keeps it, uh, you know, allowing the pulley to spin on the self lubricating fibers of this ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. I think he said something about ultra high weight, something ethylene. Yeah, yeah you got yeah, it. Yeah, that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> yeah. It's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. Just just know it's the good stuff. It's made in the USA. That's right. Even if you have a hitch, they even got these little guys too. It's called a hitch link. Well, you think about how lightweight it is too, right? I mean, there are cheaper versions on the market, but the thing only weighs like less than two pounds. Well, I can get one of them off Amazon, uh, Alibaba. 
But then we also, and then we also provide our instructional manuals for our basic guide to winching, and then also our basic guide to kinetic and towing a disabled vehicle off road. Man, are you telling me that I've been using my rope all wrong all these years? Uh, I'm saying I use uh, a kinetic rope not, for everything, not bro. Maybe not maybe you, <laughs> but uh, many others. I, you just all you need is one of these in your truck, man. Yeah, Don't yeah. listen to this guy. He yeah, doesn't know yeah. what he's talking about. You put one of these in there, it's good for everything. Uh, Do not listen to me. I'm yeah. totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Random question. So a lot of people at Jeeps also have UTVs. Do you make products for UTVs? We do make products for UTVs. So we have like our XTV product line. We I thought make... this was a toy. No, nope, that's, for, that's for UTVs. We do make UTV fair leads, right? Awesome. Same, same, same kind of thing where they're mil-spec hard anodized, just like our full-size ones. So we do have a whole UTV product line that we make. We make the pulleys in a UTV size. So yeah, we have all UTV. Hey, man. Had a killer time, as Andrew probably showed you guys. Uh, I didn't get a ton of time out of the booth. It was a ton of fun. I loved working with my boy. You freaking killed it. <laughs> Salesman number one. <laughs> It was a ton of fun.